good evening. Good evening. Hello, people.
Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you people? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. Como vamos con las tareas? Finish, teacher. Okay. Bien suave se te escucha, Miguel. No sé. No, no creo que le haya tocado nada. Ahora sí. Ah, ok. Bien, recuerden que esta semana es el examen final también, ¿verdad? Que hay que hacer. que hay que terminar todo para el viernes. Vamos, no ha escrito nadie en WhatsApp. Okay, people, let's get it started. We're going to start with the attendance for tonight. Okay, the first attendance. So please turn on your cameras and respond. Alberto Jose Hernandez. Not here. Amil Cardenilson Gonzalez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carlos Josué Hernandez. Not yet. David Alberto Rivera. Ya no. David Otoniel Martinez. David Otoniel. Presente. Ok. Fidel Ángel Aguilera. Gabriel Alonso Ponce. Gerson Orlando de Odanes. Present. Very good. Iván Alberto Castillo. Yet. Jose Osvaldo Valle. Present. Ok. María José Portillo. No more. María Julia Ramos. María Julia. Hello. No se le escucha, María Julia. 
Marni Betsaida Hernandez. Present. Perfect. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Good. Patricia Noemí Guirao. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Rodolfo Alexander Fernández. Stephanie Janet Flores. Present. Good. Víctor Antonio Benítez. Víctor Manuel Avilés. Okay, people. Let's see. Okay, we'll continue with lesson two, unit four. Let me share the screen to start with that, okay? So in this unit, we are talking about addresses and places. Direcciones y lugares. In this lesson, you will be able to ask and tell people the specific location of places and directions surrounding my workplace. So we're going to learn to talk about specific location and directions. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Now we have a conversation here. Let me read it first. And I'm going to record it. So just give me a second. Okay, I'm going to record the conversation for you here. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay, there you are. Now let me practice again. Pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay, now let's practice. Listen and repeat after me, okay? Hello, can you help me? Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. 
Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Don't worry. There Don't worry. Are... Which one do you need? Okay. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the building the, on the Main Street. The I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I know it is down the street on the left side. On the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Thanks. I have oh, to ask you something to, else. Yes, is something for else. a training center. Is there some training? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. Now let's practice in this way. I am Will and you are Tanya. Okay? I start. Remember, you are Tanya. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. Don't worry. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know. I know it's it's down, 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 down the street on the left, on the left side. side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between 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 uh, May and Coney Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, now let's switch. You are Will and I am Tanya. Okay. So you begin one. Two, three. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thank you. I have, I have, I have to use to There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, very good. Now, uh, any question with the conversation? No questions? Okay, very good. So you are going to, I'm going to put you in small groups, actually in pairs. And I want you to practice the conversation, okay? Many times, okay? Practice the conversation. And after that, I want you to respond these questions from uh, the conversation, okay? How many Melbourne buildings are there? 
Where is the building where Will wants to go located? How many training centers are there? Where are they? So you're going to respond these questions with information from the conversation. Okay. So two things, practice the conversation and respond the question. Let me form the groups. Okay, very good. Join your groups, please, and practice. Go to your groups, practice the conversation, and respond the question. See you in around 10 minutes.
Ahí están practicando la conversación de la lección de hoy.
Porque en al inicio, donde dice how many, si sería cuántos, como cuántos centros de entrenamiento hay. Ok, let's just... eh, The building on the main street. Porque entiendo yo que eh, anda buscando un edificio en la, la calle edificio. Main Street. Uh -huh. Y number three sería How many training settings are there? Where are they? Eh, para mí es... Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. Buenas noches, teachers. Buenas noches. Disculpas, el pasa que viene noche y ya no pude conectarme desde antes. Más que está lloviendo. Oh, ok, ok. No problem. Intenté agregarme a los grupos, pero ya no pude. Ok, ya vamos a regresar. Ok, perfecto. Okay, welcome back. I want you to present the conversation, okay? Let's see. Jose Osvaldo and Maria Julia, please present the conversation to the class. Okay, I am Will and Maria Julia Tanya. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Millboard building? I don't live there. Her. Uh, 
اريحه ليا لو ماريا جوليا Perdón. Uh, don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Aguil told me to go to the building on the main street. I knocked it down. The street one, one on left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between my and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. 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 Okay, very good. Now, please, David, Otoniel, and Miguel Angel. Okay, uh, I will. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? On I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you live? A girl told me to go to the building on the main street. I know it. Is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building. We can with with my my king string. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Now, please, Amilcar and Marnie. Okay. I am Will and, and see Tanya. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on the main street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. And finally, Harrison and Stephanie. I am Will. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't work. They are for Berlin. Why one that you need? Have you told me to go to the building on Main Street? I don't eat. It's though in the street of the left side. Thank. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Okay. They are a lot of the train center of the building between May and the Kit Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, very good. Well, let's see some words here. 
and this one. Melbourne. Melbourne. So maybe you should omit the O in the pronunciation, okay? So omit the O in the pronunciation. Oops. And you said Melbourne. Melbourne. The other word. Okay, I'll meet Melbourne. The other word is building. Building. You should omit the U in the pronunciation. Building. Building. Uh, there are four buildings. Uh, the other word. Send. In this word, you can omit the letter T. You said center. Is there a training center? Okay, basically those words. Melbourne Building Center. Okay. So there are three questions here. How many Melbourne buildings are there? What is the answer? There are four buildings. There are four Melbourne Buildings. There are four Melbourne buildings. Yes. Where is the building where Bill wants to go located? Where is the building where Bill wants to go? Is between Maine and Kings. Street. Green. It's down the strip on the left. Okay. It's First, on Main Street. It's down the street on the left. Down the street on the left. It's on Main Street. Down the street on the left. And finally, how many training centers are there? There are a lot of training centers. Yes, there are a lot of training centers. Where are they? We, they are between Main and Kina Street. Okay. 
Okay. Very good. How many Melbourne buildings are there? There are four Melbourne buildings. Where is the building where Will wants to go located? It's on Main Street. It's down the street on the left. How many training centers are there? And where are they? There are a lot of training centers. They are between Main and King Street. Very good. Who's writing here? Oh, okay, very good. Thank you, Marnie, for sending. Okay. Now, if you observe the conversation, we have these phrases here. There are four buildings. There are a lot of training centers. And the question, is there a training center? So we are going to study the use of there are. Observe, we have, oh, well, we're going to study, well, the reason there are. The use of how to use there is and there are plus quantifiers. There is and there are. There is, is for singular sentences. Okay. We are going to use there is for singular sentences. For example, there is an ATM. There is an ATM across the street. Singular. One. Remember that an is synonym of one. There is an ATM. There's a recruitment center. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There is one. A is one. And finally, there's no clothing factory. There's, there's no clothing factory. No is zero. There is no clothing factory around the corner. So there is four singular. The quantifiers are these words that explain or mention the quantity. We are talking about quantity. We are estamos hablando de cantidad. There is an ATM that is one. There is a recruitment center, that is one. There's no clothing factory, that, that is zero. Okay, no I. Then we have there are for plural. We use there are for plural. There are a lot of, there are. A lot of is the quantifier. 
There are a lot of companies down the street. Or there are some supermarkets. Some supermarkets. Oh, there are no hospitals. There are no hospitals on Barrios Street. So we use there are for plural. There are a lot of companies down the street. A lot of, muchos. There are some supermarkets on the right and left and left side of the street. Some, we don't specify the number, okay? A lot of, muchas, some, algunos. And there are no hospitals on Barrios Street. Zero hospitals. Okay, so there is for singular, there are for plural. There is for singular, there are for plural. Any question here, people? Yes, teacher. I have one question. Uh -huh. uh, you don't know have to use capital letter for the name of the place. For example, park, church, or another hotel? No. No, because they are common nouns. Okay. No proper nouns. Okay, any other question? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Uh-huh. In the example, uh, there is singular, and the number one, two, three, and the number four, uh, there's no clothing factory around the corner. Uh, I don't know if uh, we have to use uh, A, there's no a clothing factory? No. Why? No. Because A is one, and no is zero. We are saying that there's no. Clothing factory. Okay, I think. Zero. I got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Any other question, people? Okay. There's no question. Well, let's take the second attendance. And after that, you're going to. Do some exercise. The second attendance of the evening. Please turn on your cameras and respond. Alberto Jose Hernandez. Amil Cardenilson Gonzalez. Present teacher. Hey. Carlos Josué Hernandez. Presente teacher. Good. David Alberto Rivera, David Otoniel Martinez. Present. Good. Fidel Ángel Aguilera. Here, teacher. Okay. Gabriel Alonso Ponce. I don't. Present. Oh, you're here. Okay. Person Orlando Deodanes. Present. Okay, Iván Alberto Castillo. José Osvaldo Valle. Present. María José Portillo. María Julia Ramos. Present, teacher. Good. Marni Betsay Hernández. Present. Okay, Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Okay, Patricia Noemi Girao, Rafael Antonio Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, Rodolfo Alexander Fernandez. 
Stephanie Janet Flores. Present teacher. Victor Antonio Benitez. Victor Manuel Aviles. Okay, very good. Now let's see the exercise you have here. Okay, complete the exercises with there is, or there are, and a quantifier. Remember, quantifiers are an, a, no, a lot of, some. This is some quantifiers. Okay. En algunos se les da ahí cuál es el que van a usar. No, some, no. En los otros, pues ustedes escogen. Ok. So I'll give you a few minutes to complete these sentences. Let's do it in groups so you can do it faster. Let me recreate the groups. Okay. Go to your groups and complete the sentence. With there is, there are, and quantify. Ok, Iván, te voy a enviar a un grupo. Bueno, teacher. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Estamos haciendo un ejercicio. Hay que te expliquen.
Hello, Fidel, what happened? Hola, teacher. No, no encienden la cámara ni están participando. Entonces, me salí mejor. ¿O del arba? Sí, es hay que ponerle. Ah, ok. Entonces... Pero este hay que ver ahí el, el detalle. Espérate que se me perdió la imagen. Hola Fidel y usted se quedó afuera también. Este, hola María. Hola. hola. Eh, ah, si gusta lo, lo, lo vemos nosotros aquí. Vaya, sí, porque yo me quedé afuera, se me desconectó el. Ah, vaya. Veámoslo aquí, si gusta. Vaya. Y, y tiene donde, 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 no, donde ver. no puedo compartir. Porque ah, pero, tengo... pero tiene, lo tiene impreso. Este, lo tengo en foto, sí. Ah, entonces si gusta, veámoslo ahí, yo lo tengo impreso. La, la, la número uno. Uh -huh. eh, ajá, la número uno, yo le puse, there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Le puse, there is a ¿Por qué there is a? Como es singular. Ah, porque es singular, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y, es, y es, no es negativo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y en la segunda. ¿Cómo le puso usted? No, si esa, ese me... Ah, no lo, no lo he llenado. Ah. No lo he llenado. Ah, ok. En la segunda yo le puse there are some. Era el som, le puse. Como allá abajito le daba para poner el quantifier. Uh -huh. Y la tercera. La tercera, ¿cómo le da ahí negativo? Negativo. Uh, there, are, there are no, le puse. There are no recruitment centers from the building. The center. Recruitment. There are no, le puse yo. There, there are not. Uh -huh. There are no. Recruitment. Ajá, uh -huh. recruitment. Centers, ajá. Uh -huh. Centers, ajá. Uh -huh. And centers la... around building. Um, story of there. Como está hablando siempre del, de una cosa. En la tres siempre. No, sería la cuatro. Ah, en la cuatro. Ajá. Ajá, ahí solo está hablando de una tienda. ¿verdad? Store. De, del store, ajá. Ajá, entonces ahí es there's no. Lo puede hacer contractado, puede, creo que puede decir there is no. Pero según el ejemplo es there's no. Y no es there are, there are, there's some, there's 
there are some. Eh, no, porque solo porque es store, es similar. Si tuviera la S ahí, sí, si hiciera stores, pero dice store nada más. Mm. Entonces está hablando de singular. Okay. Fíjese que yo solo... Sí. Y street. Y street in the... No, no. Okay, let's check your work. Let's see. Marnie, can you please write the number one? Complete number one. Take control, Marnie. Uh, let me help you. Let me help you. Give me a sec. Okay. Ahora. Okay, very good. Now, let's see.
Oh, 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 Stephanie. Number two. Okay. Now. Jose, number Okay. Now, Carlos, number four. How did I wait? What? Okay. Okay. Capital letter. Then number five, let me see. Fidel, number five. There are some. Okay. And finally, the last one, let's see, David Otoniel. There is on. Okay, let's see the the the, the esta ultima. Maybe there is an Aranza bill. Muy bien. Let's check. Let's read. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Okay. Okay. Let me mute that dog. Two, there are some business workshops down the street. Three, there are no recruitment centers around my building. Four, there is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Five, there are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. 
six, there is an Aranza building around the corner. Perfect. Let me record the sentences so you can practice the pronunciation later. One, there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Two, there are some business workshops down the street. Three, there are no recruitment centers around my building. Four, there is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Five, there are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. Six, there is an Aranza building around the corner. Okay. Repeat after me, please. There is a marketing department, oh, I'm sorry. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. There is a Two, there are some business workshops down the street. There are some business workshops down the street. Three, there are no recruitment centers around my building. There are no recruitment centers around my building. Four, there is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Five, there are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. There are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. And six, there is an Aranza building around the corner. There, there is an Aranza building around the corner. Okay, very good. Any question, people? No question? Okay. Okay, so I want you to write sentences about your workplace and places around your workplace. Okay. Uh, for example, let me write some examples. And, um, let's see. Let me write about my workplace, uh, which is Inglés Corporativo. There is a big hotel, a big hotel uh, around uh, my company. One, there are a lot of uh, apartment buildings near my office. There No hospital uh, around the office. What else? There are some restaurants near the company. Uh, 
Um, there is an and keep on start on and. An ice cream store in Bengal next to the office. Alguacy. Okay, so I want you to write at least five sentences. Five sentences about places near your office, near your workplace. Uh, so I prefer real information, but if not, so you can imaginar, inventar. Okay, but five sentences talking up using there is, there are, there is a, there is an, there are some, there are a lot of, there is no, there are no, okay? Five sentences about places and around your workplace, okay? Is it clear? I hope so. Yes, sir. Okay, work. In groups? No, individually. Okay. When you finish, raise your hand, please.
Okay, people. Now I want you to share your sentences with your classmates, okay? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, go to your groups, please, and talk about your sentences, okay? Share your sentences with your classmates. Go to your groups, please. Go to your groups, please. Gabriel, go to your group.
Okay, people. I'm going to ask for your sentences tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Because it's time for the last attendance of the evening. But tomorrow you're going to talk to me about your sentences. Alberto Jose Hernandez didn't show up. Amilcar de Nilsson Gonzalez. Present. Okay. Uh, Carlos Josué Hernández. Presente, teacher. Good. David Alberto Rivera. No more. David Otoniel Martínez. Okay. Presente. Good. Fidel Ángel Aguilera. Teacher. Ok. Gabriel Alonso Ponce. Present. Ok. Gabriel. Gerson Orlando de Odanes. Present. Good. Iván Alberto Castillo. Present. Oh, okay, good. Eh, José Osvaldo Valle. Present. Good. María José Portillo. Didn't show up. María Julia Ramos. Present. Teacher. Perfect. Marni Betay Hernández. Present. Okay. Um, Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Perfect. Patricia Noemi Girao didn't show up. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present, teacher. Good. Rodolfo Alexander Fernández. Didn't show up. Stephanie Janet Flores. Present, teacher. Perfect. Victor Antonio Benítez and Victor. Manuel Aviles. Okay. Well, the personal session today was for uh, Rodolfo. Ah, Rodolfo no aparece. Bueno, si alguien quiere los 10 minutos, si quiere quedar, bienvenido. You know, good night, people, and see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. See you good tomorrow. night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, -bye. Good night. Take care. Good night.
bueno, les pregunté a los alumnos si alguien se quería quedar, ya que la persona que le tocaba los 10 minutos no asistió a la clase, pero obviamente ninguno se quedó. Es que bueno, estaré por acá haciendo papeleo.